Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So we all know Blender is an amazing tool for creating wonderful looking characters, animation, props and all that stuff. One of the most daunting parts about working with Blender is actually understanding the shortcuts, knowing what keys to press at what given time and also understanding what these keys do in the first place. And that is why today we're giving a huge shout out to Hollis Brown as he has just put together a good number of Blender shortcuts on his Gumroad. So if you simply go over to the link in the description, it's going to bring you right here where you can see all the shortcuts. Now you're not just seeing the shortcuts, you're seeing what to do at specific times with the keys and also a very good thumbnail that shows you what these actions can lead to. So for example, if you hold down shift and hit Z on the keyboard, it toggles the wireframe and x-ray. And if you hit alt and Z, it only toggles the x-ray. So let's actually give that a look. So right here, if we hit Z, all right, so we have just that. And if we hit shift and Z, that looks cool. If we hit alt and Z, okay, so that toggles between x-ray to solid mode and shift and Z does that pretty decent. So if you tap Z alone, you can simply switch through these ones, which is really, really nice. So if you like to learn how to work with Blender's shortcuts, especially with the keys, then you might want to just simply bookmark this and get started with it. This gives you a huge number of tips and tricks on how to work with Blender and also understanding the shortcuts that you will really appreciate at the end of the day. Now, this isn't the only thing that we're gonna be talking about as we also have another interesting creator called Riley. So Riley has just recently, actually, he just put this out today and it is beautiful. He's creating an asset library where you should be able to get free asset. For those who like to support him, you might want to go over to his Patreon and give him that huge shout out. But then if you just want to simply get this 3D asset, then you can come through and get it. The assets are continually growing and they look really cool. So if you simply take a look at the asset and the dates that this asset was put out, you can tell that it just came out today. And these are looking pretty cool. So one thing which I love about this particular asset is it's looking towards the future. And the future I mean is these assets are not just your regular everyday FBX and OBJ, they are USD files. And we've already talked about USD on the channel before. It is where the future is going. And in terms of file interchange, USD seems to be key. And that is something that I really appreciate that Riley is doing. So Riley B3D is offering all of this. Now the props are not the only thing you're getting. You know, all of these meshes are not the only thing you're getting. They are also textures. So if we simply scroll all the way down, now this is to tell you that there's a lot of things here. So if we simply scroll all the way down, let's just give this a little bit of a patience why it does that scrolling and you appreciate the art. So if we simply scroll and scroll and scroll, actually let's zap this quickly. If we scroll all the way down, you can see that we have a ton of assets right here. There is just a whole lot of assets here and I can guarantee you, you will love them. So simply go ahead and check this out. Assets are not the only thing, like I was saying, they are also textures and materials. So a ton of textures, a ton of materials are right here as well. So you can come through and get them. So if you're looking for, you know, textures that you can use to paint old windows, or maybe you're looking for some interesting materials like this, then this is definitely one that I would suggest that you see. If you're also looking for some very cool stuff like these ones as well, then you can also see them. And I believe a lot of you guys might be wondering, what about the topology? What does this look like when we choose to import it? Now for that, we are going to simply find one that I think it's pretty cool. And uh, let's just look for something that we can use on our thumbnail, which I believe should be cool. Let's just simply go ahead. And I think I missed it. Okay, so we're simply going to go all the way down and take a look at the decorative object. So if we simply click on that, this is going to download as USD. And since Blender 4.1 and above supports USD drag and drop, we're simply going to get rid of the cube, drag and drop this right in here, and we can click on import and import it right in. Now this simply stays a little bit far off, so I can simply tap G, bring that right where we want it to be, tap the period key to zoom in, and we can simply take a look at it. And for the wireframe, if we simply press the tab key, this is looking solid. Like, look at that. This looks really, really cool. And for those who like to explore this, you want to get it, you want to use it for some cool stuff, then by all means, go ahead and check out this plethora of nice looking models that you can work with. These are expensive looking cool stuff, and you can build an entire asset library out of this. So whether you're thinking about doing some furnishing, or maybe you just want a couple of pieces within your scene, then you can simply come through, grab these base meshes and textures, 
and start creating. And of course, a huge shout out to Riley3D and also Hollies Brown for making this possible. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.